Well, yes, the time had come for new pajamas in my world. And now that I'm coming to you today on Bib Mom Sews, I can officially say I'm tired of sewing pajamas. <laughs> They're all back here. I want to show them to you. This nightgown that I am wearing is Simplicity Not 3573. This is a classic. This is a great pattern. I've seen it fetch some pretty high prices on eBay. Well, I bought this Walmart cotton years ago. It was a dollar a yard. One thing I'm gonna say about pajamas, they're fabric hogs. Oh yes, they are. More on that later. Anyway, I made this Simplicity nightgown. I made two of them and I wear them and wear them and wear them and wear them. I put pockets in this one and I love them, but I'm kind of tired of them. So I thought I'm gonna make new pajamas. I'm gonna show them to you. And I don't know if you need new pajamas or not, but let's see what I got, okay? Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, the last time I made Quick Sew 2821, very basic little night shirt, night dress, night dress, night shirt. What is wrong with me? Okay, this is a night shirt. I've been sewing pajamas for too long. Now, I don't have that many to show you, but it feels like I've been sewing them for about 14 months, and it's been four weeks, so. Um, okay, this night shirt, the last time I made it, I ended up with a really high neckline. So I lowered this one, and um, I like it better. Now, I'm not crazy about this fabric. This is a mustard-colored, double-brushed poly from Hobby Lobby. My machine didn't like it, and I had to use my walking foot. I ran out of it, so I had to do a contrasting neckband, and then I put some on the sleeve hems just to sort of tie it together. No, this fabric is not going to win any prizes for being pretty, but you know, for nightgowns, it's fine. The pattern is okay. I forgot to mention last time something that really irked me with this pattern. And that is, I don't know if I have it handy, but the sleeve is drafted on the fold. Now, why would you make a sleeve like this? Why would you do this? This is obviously half the sleeve and you are to place it on the fold, but we all know that we need two sleeves. So rather than pin and cut it out twice, I just took enough fabric to stack my folded fabric and cut it out once. But no, I'm not crazy about that. Quarter inch seam allowance, that's fine with me because you can just do it right on the serger, okay? And then all your seams are quarter inch. I've got some threads to cut there, but you know, as a night shirt, Sure, fine. Let's go on to the next one, hang on. Here we have an older Simplicity and a newer Simplicity. I put them together. 9505 came out in 2000, so it is out of print, but you got a lot of little pieces in there. And this is 8995. When I first saw this, I was like, what in the world is that? But it's loungewear, okay? And those pants, <laughs> check them out. They're cute, aren't they? They have little ruffles at the hems and they do have pockets. So here is what I got with this, with these two patterns. I used a crinkle 
shally. Now, some people think crinkle shally is the devil's fabric. Well, it wasn't too bad for this application because pajamas, of course, are loose, not terribly fitted, and these were not highly complicated patterns, but crinkle shally will stretch out and sort of grow on you, so you might want to stabilize things if that's gonna be an issue. Now, I wrote for these pants, I have a different color waistband because I kept running out of fabric with these pajamas. They always take more than you think they will. At least that happened to me. I said that they overcomplicated the waistband on these um, pants, so I kind of just did my own thing. It calls for one and a quarter inch elastic. I don't know why they call for these odd sized elastics. One and a quarter inch. I had one inch, I had one and a half inch. So I just used one inch, but why pattern companies, why do you do that? And these little flounces that go around the bottoms of the hems, you don't need to gather them very much. They do have a little narrow hem, of course, and you could use your um, serge or rolled hem feature for those. That would be fine, although the, the narrow hems weren't bad. But I wanted to use my gathering foot for the ruffles, and it gathered them a little bit more than they needed to be. So I thought, I'm going to tell you, if you make these funny little pants, don't gather those ruffles too terribly much because you just don't need it. I do love the fact that the pants have pockets and everything is very comfortable. The little shirt is just a peasant style with elastic at the arms and at the neckline. And then I added a little bow there. So comfy PJs, set number two. Let's go on to three. Yes, it's quick sew again, 3611. And this is drafted for knit fabrics, and I wanted to add on to mine. Now, I'm gonna say to you, there are two things I love wearing, elastic and ruffles. And there are two things I really don't like sewing, elastic and ruffles. So I made this, this is supposed to cut off about right here as drafted on the pattern. So I made it longer and then I added this great big ruffle around the bottom. So you do gather the skirt to the bodice and as this is rather heavy, this whole skirt with the ruffle on it, I definitely followed their directions to stabilize what they call the bust seam with clear elastic. Now I added a little bit of length to this bodice and I don't know if I really needed it. I did that just to preempt any, you know, cutting right across at the wrong spot, but I don't think I really needed it. I cut this on a size small and you just pull it over your head and you have, if you have length to it, you have quite a voluminous nightgown. This is just a jersey spandex that came from Fabric Mart and it was back in the days of the pre-cuts. I think that they got a bunch of pre-cuts years ago from Craftsy, do you remember that? So I got four yards of this for something like $4.99. It was, it was very, a very good value. Um, it's very stretchy and bouncy, and the colors are certainly cheery. Oops. Um, but, yeah, no but. It's fine. It's just fine. I will say the skirt is a little bit heavy and I forgot to put pockets in it but that's okay 
neckband finish around here and then armhole finish out of self fabric. So that was Quick Sew 3611. It would either be a very, very short dress or a tunic if you make it in the original length. There's more Quick Sews coming up, hang on. Well, I had my eye on Quick Sew 2645 for a long time. It was listed at $25 on Etsy. And of course, I was not gonna pay that. So I waited and I watched and I waited and I watched and it came up on eBay for $10 and I grabbed it and I was very, very excited about it. But I don't know if we should get super excited about patterns because I just had a vision of this that was nonstop. I mean, look at it, what's not to love? It's got a raised waist, it has ties at the side, and it's got that perfect little bolero to put over it for when you're having breakfast and you might have company. So, I chose a rayon chalet to make this nightgown. I do have my ties on the side over here. Again, I lowered the bodice and I don't think I needed to do that because you know what? I can pull up, I can pull up those shoulder seams about an inch and it seems to give the fit a little more definition. Now, I'm gonna say this. I was very gung-ho about this project and I read the instructions and I thought that's going to be great. However, when they talk about putting the lace trim on, and this is all backwards to you, I know that. It's because of my um, filming app. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so it's here. It's where they talk about putting the lace around the armholes and the neckline. I couldn't figure them out. I didn't know what I didn't know what they meant. They kept saying cut the lace longer, double it over at the shoulder seam and and measure it that way. And then I thought, do you just leave a raw edge under that lace? That didn't seem right and I read and reread and I thought to heck with the lace. I'm not putting it on. So, of course, you know me. I just finished that with bias binding. I finished the armholes with fold over elastic because I didn't want to lose any more. They're, they're plenty roomy. Now I do love the little bolero. Let me do, let me put that on for you. And I mean, it's a very practical set of pajamas because if you don't want to put on an entire robe, but you do have company or kids are home from school or whatever, you can just put on that little bolero and it's very, very loose fitting. I probably could have sized down a little bit there, but, um, and I did add trim to that, although not the way they recommended it. That's the only thing. It's like, I love this pattern, but I did not understand the lace application at all. Not at all. So, um, the seam allowances in this one are one quarter inch. They're not in all quick sew patterns, but in a lot of them they are. Some people really hate that. I don't mind it because you can just send it through your serger and that measurement, if you don't cut any fabric off, that is exactly a quarter inch. So I think that's kind of easy. But there is that one. Like I say, it's a rayon chalet. It's very billowy, it's, you know, I love the little ties on the side and I learned a dynamite way to turn these narrow ties that involve a bobby pin. And I didn't know about that and it, it worked. I never turn narrow tubes because I can't figure out how to do it with a tube turner, but this little method with the bobby pin worked. So I'll bring, I'll show that to you sometime if you're interested. 
I do still love the pattern. Maybe I'm a little disappointed because some of the directions I wasn't quite, quite understanding. And of course, I didn't make mine out of lace. You can. You can make the entire thing out of lace. That is Quixo 2645, and I'm super glad I did not pay $25 for this pattern. Quixo 3553, a fairly popular pattern as far as Quixos go. Um, this is a classic pajama, you might say. Not really my style, but I certainly wanted to give it a try. Changed a couple things. Um, I just, I made the cropped pants and I've made my sleeves three quarter. Now, my fabric choice. Well, it gets me down a little bit. I'll tell you why. It is nylon. No stretch. Think of like a slip that doesn't stretch. So it slid around a lot. Getting that pocket placement was surprisingly difficult just because the fabric just went every which way and the print you know I don't know not very exciting I put orange buttons on it to liven it up a little bit so like I said I've got the three-quarter sleeves no pockets in the pants but you get the chest pocket and I made some notes about this pattern Quarter inch seam allowances. This is another one. Now I constructed these pajamas almost completely on the serger just because I didn't want to fuss with this thin, filmy, slippery fabric. So I just ran it through the serger and that worked well. Collar instructions, I wrote meh. What does meh mean? It means that you will get a collar in the end. Um, I don't know. I think that I like the old-fashioned simplicity way of having a separate facing. The facing for your collar is cut right onto the front pieces of your top. Now, some people think that's great, and it's just a matter of preferences. And so when you go to attach the collar, you fold that facing back and stitch it down over it. I'm not sure why I prefer to have a separate piece. It certainly makes cutting the inner facing easier if you have a separate piece. But you know, that's a minor quibble. You do get a perfectly fine collar out of the instructions. The sleeves I liked very much because they insert them flat. And with that tiny little quarter inch seam allowance, they go in with no trouble whatsoever. I did think that this top needed top stitching and they don't have that anywhere in the instructions. And then for the pants, they want you to use a one third inch elastic, which is pretty darn narrow and also an odd size. I had some because I thought that I was gonna make lingerie and, and that frequently does call for for a third inch elastic. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and follow the instructions. Now, what they have you do with the waist of these pants is the waistband is on there. You don't have a separate one. So you just fold them in three quarter inch, press down, then you take your little skinny elastic, you make a circle out of it and attach it. So you have a circle of elastic. You don't make a channel and feed it through. And then you put the elastic, you butt it up against the fold that you made. Using a zipper foot, you go around stretching the elastic and sewing it down to form a casing. I've done that before in other quick sew patterns and it does work. It was a little iffy on this one just because even though you think folding it three quarter inch is going to be plenty of room for that one third elastic to be in, it was a little tight actually, because you're just going around and sewing that elastic in loose. This will make sense when you get into the pattern. It does work, but if you wanna make a channel and feed your elastic through with a safety pin, 
do it. That's it. Those are my pajamas for November. I hope everyone is doing well. Don't do what I've done. I say, oh, I'm going to sell everybody a gift for Christmas. I saw Cleveland Brown's cotton on Fabric Mart's website yesterday and I thought, oh, my son-in-law just loves the Browns. I'm going to get a bunch of that and I'll make him sleep shorts. And Colin said, no, do not do that. No, mom, no, not necessary. Don't do it. And of course, Colin's been waiting four years for a jacket that he wants, so he definitely has grounds to advise me. But if you're sewing Christmas gifts, my hat is off. Whew. And it's coming. Oh, it's barreling toward us. So I hope everyone's fine. Um, these patterns will be down in the show notes. And if you want to sew pajamas, have at it. Because you know what? I'm taking those nightgowns out of rotation and I'm putting these up on my hooks behind my bedroom door where I throw my pajamas and now I have new ones to wear. Do I love them all? I like them enough to wear them, okay? I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.